Hey, y'all. It's all about making life difficult for Nash. He's the motor for these guys. We slow him down, we mess up their whole offense. So let's do it, all right? And no secret who's going to be getting the bulk of their attention. Welcome, everyone, to the sold-out Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles, California. It's the home of the Lakers, where we're broadcasting live today for 2K Sports. While we've got a chance here, let's now take a look at the starting lineups sponsored by State Farm. And one of the players we'll be seeing in this one, Clutch. And defensively, he forces a ton of turnovers. He's great at anticipating where the ball is, uh, where it's going, and what his man's going to do with it. And I'd say this about him, too. I mean, if you're the guy defending him, you better be on your toes because he can take you off the dribble very easily and effectively. Lakers are enjoying this break from the road. They've been picking up some steam, and if they can play this well, all happy that we get to be part of it. Takes it right up. Second shot opportunity, and no mistakes on the layup. Textbook offensive rebounding right there. I love that. Those putbacks are buckets any team loves to get. Defend, score, you name it. I think defensively, we may look to double some and force other players to make shots. He's one of the greats. You enjoy the challenge of playing against him and just hope guys will see who carries the day. Thank you, Doris. Here's Nash after Paul Pierce's score. Nash kicks to Jamison. There it is. It's Nash picking up the assists. He's going to take that shot every time if he has that much room to get it off. Here's Clutch. And the pass to Pierce. Over Jamison. And again, Paul Pierce. There's and I think everybody who was at that game would agree it was their defense that really won it for them. Yeah, they were all over the place, flying all over the court on deep. The kind of hustle that pays off big time for you. The Celtics have gotten six or seven shots to fall in the first quarter. They're off and running. Here's Green. A rebound by the Lakers. First chance of the season for them to go up against this Celtics team. Yeah, this was a, an interconference matchup a year ago, and they had no problem with it, winning both matchups. Went for the two-hand throw down there, needed safety and power. <laughs> that's, a, that's how you do it. Yep. No, nothing fancy, but he finished with four. Lock at six. Deflected. Kobe with the steal. And it's the Lakers on the break. Nash, there's the block. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. He feeds it to Chalmers. Mello sets the pick for Chalmers. Here's Clutch, covered by Barnes. That's good. Clutch has got eight points. Strong first quarter. He's really made the most of his opportunities. It's going to be tough to beat. Here's Kobe. Barnes kicks to Nash. Defended by Chalmers. Nash dishes to Gasol. On the wing, Kobe. Cans the shot from the wing. Kobe, after Jeff Green's bucket. Tries for the alley-oop. Here's Clutch. Throws down the breakaway jam. A rim rocker. Look for a second like he might rip the cylinder loose. Now that <laughs> is some strength there. Nash the pass to Kobe. Dishes to Jamison. Beyond the arc. And that one's good. Shot clock at six. Back to Chalmers. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Yeah, the defender draped all over. Pretty plain and simple. Got him good there. The Celtics have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. You know, something you can point to when you're talking about their areas of success last season, free throw shooting. The basket's coming early and often in the first quarter. Celtics lead by five. I like the way they played together. Really moved the ball and did a nice job offensively. Yeah, excellent ball movement. It's paid off on the Oh, oh get it! Oh, oh, watch out now. Oh. Now you're talking about a power serve. That's how you power that thing down. He went hard to the hook, Clark, and didn't disappoint when he got there. No, there's no need to be passive. I mean, you've got to attack. 
And that was Sprite bringing you the close-up on that big-time play. And Doris Burke has something for us. Hey, Doris. Hi, Kevin. Clutch in their last time out against the Raptors was simply terrific. I'm surprised he didn't get it to fall. Here's Clutch. Gives him the lead pass. And Green gets it to go. Now it's a seven-point Celtic lead. Well, a nice little trend developing here, fellas. I mean, that's eight of their last ten from inside the paint. Yeah, they're getting high percentage looks down there. Their offense is really clicking. I don't see why they wouldn't just continue to... Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Nash against Chalmers. Here's Kobe. There it is. It's Nash picking up the assist. Nash has got his fourth assist in this one. He's been producing all night. It's up to the rest of his team to start kicking in a little bit. And Mello slams it in. An open lane right there. Pretty much saw the daylight he wanted and took advantage. Yeah, great opportunity, and he sees it without much hesitation. Leans inside. No good. Now the Celtics take it the other way. Into green. And he pings it home with one hand. That was a hole punch jam there, Kevin <laughs> Player. Back to Howard. Blocked. Now Pierce. His last outing, 16 points for him. And it has been total domination on their part. Yeah. Here's Clutch. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Self partner, I mean, that's eight points out of the last ten coming inside. Gasol kicks to Jamison. Back to Gasol. Leads him in there. Oh, and the shot is good. He's got six. Again, they attack the hoop from the lane, and it's been really good to him. He's got 18. Outside, green. There's a screen. Now the pass to Pierce. Hands it from downtown. Pierce has got seven points for Paul Pierce. They kick it out to Green. Here's Clutch. Over Barnes. The top of the key jumper is on the mark. Clutch has got ten points now just in this quarter. Boy, this is a shooting exhibition, guys. I mean, he's not wasting any of his chances. Hill passes to Nash. The alley -oop pass. And it's slammed in by Howard. How about the nice, exquisite timing on that alley-oop? Well done. Yeah, two teammates in total sync right there. You're right. Very yeah. harmonic. Mm. Oh, man, it was beautiful. The pass was delivered right to the hoop. Set up that jam. And the shot is good. Clutch has got 22 points. Well, after that strong start to this game, he's really picked it up here in the second. Now, here's Nash. Nash, left side. Over Chalmers, and the Lakers tack on two more. Here's Lee. Can't get it to go. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. Celtics out in front. Brought to you by Sprint. This is the halftime report, and today, one of the biggest rivalries in the NBA. Boston leading against the Lakers out at Staples Center. It's been an uneven start to the season. They're hungry for wins, no doubt about it. Clutch putting on a clinic against the Lakers. What he's been able to do from the field has been nothing short of spectacular. Only a select few players in the league can shoot the ball like that. There's no quitting the Lakers. They came to win. The difference in free throw percentage completely in their favor, and that's been the key to their success. Their top scorer, Kobe Bryant. He's got 12 points, and he's made some key plays in the assist department, too. That's it for me here in the studio. Time to send you back out to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the start of the third quarter. Welcome back, everybody. Third quarter just about to get going here in what has been so far a runaway game. 
What can you say? Clutch an impressive effort here today. Now he's just carving up this defense with his ability to cut and get to the hoop. And some of his finishes at the rim. For him. Kobe kicks to Jamison. Over Green. But he gets it back. Howard, the pass to Gasol. Over Pierce. The rebound by the Celtics. Green's got rebound number eight now on the night. They have a nice lead here and have really controlled the glass for the majority of the game. Kudos to them for their strong effort on the backboard. Just five on the clock. They get it back. That's good. And you can see the strategy has been to... Poke loose. Here's Kobe. And that one's good. Kobe's got 10 points in just the second half. 8 nothing run. Gasol passes to Kobe with the lead pass. Now Pierce. Nine points in the game so far. Gets it to go. Pierce has got four points this quarter. Now they continue. Team always makes the extra pass and does a good job executing this offense. That leads to good shots and good scores. And I think what's most impressive about this club, though, is the fact that they were in the top five in points scored. I mean, that, that's what they do. They like to get out. Gasol with the rebound. Gasol's got four rebounds now tonight. Hammers at home. It's like they're finally starting to wake up here, guys. Celtics. Here are the Lakers with the ball. They're on a 14-5 run here. Stolen away. Here's Clutch. There's the bucket. Good. Clutch has got eight points in the quarter. Price. That was a great angle we just saw, courtesy of Sprite. And it's the Lakers on the break. With his first shot attempt. And another basket for the Lakers. Here in the third quarter. Shot clock at six. There's the triple. But they recover it. Gasol with the defensive effort. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. It's the Celtics up by 16. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. So as we get rolling here in the fourth quarter, let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, for our Sprite uncontainable game. Doris? Guys, well, it was one of the things that was interesting to me is you could see the body language of both teams change at that point. Obviously in different directions. Confident. Everybody involved. Uh, they're in a great flow. And the Lakers making a change here. Gasol's checked in. And then for Boston. Sellinger comes in for Kevin Garnett. And it's Green in for Brandon Barris. And the basket by Hill. In the fourth, 8 of 12. The pass to Howard. He's against Garnett. Got a piece of it. And that'll be the Lakers as it goes out of bounds. Lakers retain possession. Nash dishes to Kobe. Open look. Good, and the assist goes to Nash. Let's it go with the three. White Howard grabs the board. Howard's got seven rebounds in the game. There's the dish to Kobe. Shot from the wing. And Boston with the rebound. Green's got 14, yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. There's Clutch. Pass to Green. Here's Clutch. Kicks it out to Terry. There's the three. Rejected by Kobe. But they'll get another chance. Gets it to go. Nash with it. Hobbs it up there. And Howard with the stuff. Come on now. Did they really just pull that off? That was an outstanding play. He kicks to Green. To the middle. Deflects the pass. Kobe with the steal. It's Nash with the drive. And there's another one for the Lakers. Lakers will go the other way with it. You know, as tight as this game is, you have to like their chances the way they've been rebounding. They have a pretty good margin in that department, so they've got to continue to hit the ball. Nash right side. Lobs the alley-oop pass. And it's slammed in by Howard. What a play. No regular dunk there. They have such a great feel for each other. Uh, they're just fun to watch play together. Here's Clutch. Busts the J after the KG pass fake. Converting on seemingly every shot. I wouldn't be surprised to see their field goal percentage just keep going up. 
Goes up on the high post. And there are the Celtics with another basket. The play and getting a hand in the face. Sure do. With the tough defender breathing down your neck, that makes it not an easy shot. Kicks to Pierce. Money! Boy, what a huge shot there. How about what a game? I mean, he answered the bell with that one. Outside, Kobe. Kobe has been sensational. There's 42 seconds left in the game. Here's Clutch. He passes it to Pierce. He's up against Jamison. Pierce, the pass to Garnett. Over Howard. And Garnett misses. He got the shot he wanted off that pick. Just couldn't get it to fall. But Steve, they'll take that play all day long. Ten times out of ten. That was good action. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And that's an intentional foul. Good on the first. And that will put them up by two. Second one is good. Getting both at the line. And it's a three-point game. Boy, that's huge. Big foul shots to get them the three-point lead. Here's Chalmers. Here's Clutch. From downtown. Nails it. A tremendous three to tie it up. What a difference in this crowd right now, Clark. Yeah, they're breathless, nervous, and quiet. Yeah, wow. it is quiet time, Clark. You got that right. That was a huge shot. Now here's Kobe. Defense is right there. From 17 feet out. Yes! That's how you get the crowd on its feet. Huge bucket. They've been waiting for that one, guys. Can they tie? Oh, he couldn't make that shot go to force overtime. And so it's the Lakers who come out on top here. And Clark, you know, it was quite a nail bite. Yeah, it was tight. Their guys were able to come up with big plays down the stretch, and that's the difference. So that'll do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for joining us for this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Game at the end, but you didn't come through. Do you feel like you let your team down? Nah, these guys know I'm by far the best chance we have to win the game in that kind of situation. I thought I had it tonight, but I got a little unlucky and it didn't go down. I'll have plenty more chances like that in the future, though. You can't make them all, but when I've got the ball, at least you know you're going to make the most of them. You feel me?